set for baseball here this evening. The Predators, center fielder, Denard Spann. And we are underway tonight in Denver as the first pitch is looked at for ball one. Tries to dump this one out to left. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Settling in now, Xander Bogarts, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Throw over to the bag. Don't want to forget about him. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. That first pitch is going to be key all night long. If he gets ahead early with the fastball, ball, that's when he can get tough to figure out, especially with the arsenal that he has. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Ready to deliver the one and two. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Gonzalez coming on. He's got it one away. Matt Adams is in to take his first swings here with the runner still at first and one away. Well, too bad that last guy couldn't advance the man into scoring position, so now it's probably going to take a gapper to get him home. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Her ball close, but it's one and one. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. All even now, two and two. Two, two, here it is. High fly ball out to straightaway center. After it is Blackman. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Colby Rasmus set to take his first cuts with a man at first and two away. Yeah, and he's going to have to find a gap to give that man on first a chance to score. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Hard hit ball to second. Gloved by LeMayhew. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Charlie Blackman comes to the plate to lead things off here in the bottom half of the Leading first. For the Rockies, the center fielder, number 19, Charlie Blackman. Nope. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Hit hard down the line. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. Number 27 stands in. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Around third and being waved on home. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Into the box now, Nolan Arenado. He'll get to take his first cuts Nolan here. Arenado. Fastball in there for a called strike. High and deep to right center field. Santana ranging back, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. And the runner from second is in to score. It's a 2-0 ball game. Carlos Gonzalez stands in with another first inning RBI opportunity in store. Yeah, and this has been an impressive first inning for these guys, and you know they'd love to tack one on here. High and deep to right. Santana racing back, still ranging back. 
See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Batting fifth. A two-run blast to straightaway right field as the Rockies have taken a 4 to nothing lead. Mike Morin is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Mike Morin from the stretch. Ryan Rayburn is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. Down 0-2 after two great sliders. He's got his work cut out for him now. Now a fastball up around the shoulders, but it's strike three called and a questionable first out of the inning. D.J. LeMayhew comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Tonight, borderline calls. You got to be swinging. Well. Down and away. It's a ball and two strikes. Weak chopper up the line. Seeger scoops it up. Throw gets him. Two down. Mark Reynolds gets his first opportunity now, trying to get on base and keep this first inning alive. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. And, oh. and a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. This fastball is looking pretty lively right now. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Span is under it, and that retires the side. Kyle Seeger makes his way to the plate. Leading He'll get us Pittsburgh. started here in the top of the second. Well, you know, they've fallen behind by quite a bit in the early going here, so they need a good inning here to get them back in the game. Pulled toward right center field. Gonzalez is in his tracks now, and very quickly, one gone. Domingo Santana will get his first opportunity now. Domingo Into the windup and the pitch. And now the second pitch of the inning is in the air to right. Gonzalez has a long run, but he takes charge for route number two. Chris Coughlin into the box here in the top of the second, looking to keep this inning going. Too low, 1-0. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. One one pitch and a nice call for the change. It's one and two. Protecting with two strikes went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for Revolve. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Chop foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. Smoked on the ground up the middle, and that's through for a hit. Salvador Perez Batting set eight. to take his first the cuts with a man 13. at first and two away. Salvador Perez. This is line to left. Solid base hit for him, his first of the afternoon. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Batting ninth, the pitcher number 64, Mike Morin. Cole Calhoun will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Cole Calhoun. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around third and being waved on home. 
And the runner from third scores as they try and work their way back into this one. And the run is in to score from second. It's now a 4-2 game. And he's in there with a two-run triple. First pitch coming. Here it is. Denard Spann is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Would you say he's not really finishing his pitches at this point? That's a good way to put it. It looks like he's aiming a little too much, and that's not working for him. He's set, and the 2 and nothing pitch. And this is hit hard up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And the run is in to score from third. It's now a 4-3 ball game. Xander Bogart steps in to try and keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. First pitch on its way. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Number 27 is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Your attention, please. Now New pitcher pitching. about ready to take over now. It's the side-arming right-hander Scott Feldman. Dustin Garno steps in. He'll get his first shot at it here. First pitch is a cutter looked at 0-1. Here's a cutter that's off the plate, one and one. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. That's going to even up the count at two and two. hit the other way out toward right field. Santana is there. One out. Gerardo Parra will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number eight, Gerardo Parra. Cut fastball in there for a called strike. Swing and a liner, but foul. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. Chop foul at the plate. It'll remain 1 and 2. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on 1 and 2. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. Charlie Blackman will stand in. He singled the lead off the home first. Jake McGee will come in and pitch now. It's great when he gets out there and get things going like he did. Really gets the rest of the team involved. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. On the ground up the middle. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Number 27 steps into the box. Number 27. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. One and one. Oh, he wanted that one. Probably should have got it, too. And no complaint about that one. That's a strike, and it's one and two. McGee comes set. One, two on its way. To two balls and two strikes now to first. Gloved by Adams. Throw to second for the yes, force out and the side is retired. Chris Russon will be the new pitcher. Pitching for the Rockies. Leading off the inning, Matt Adams. And they'll need him to get something going here.
outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. You know, a lot of times with a sinker baller out there, you're just conditioned to always look for something down. So he can surprise you with that high fastball, maybe force him it every once in a while. And when he does, you can forget it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now a right-hander has started to get loose in the Colorado bullpen. Colby Rasmus will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. A wind-up and the 0-1. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. Rayburn has a play. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Stepping in, Kyle Seeger. He flew out in his last at-bat. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. Well, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of... And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. And guys, I think you might agree. There's little doubt that the star of this afternoon's contest was this man. Carlos Gonzalez. Can't ask for much more. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he only had one hit, but he definitely made it count. A big home run that turned out to be the decisive blow in the ballgame. The final line score for our ballgame tonight for the victorious Rockies. Four runs. The show comes to you live from the Mile High City in Coors Field. Tonight, it's Conquest Baseball between the Predators and the Rockies. Fan allegiances in a key territory are on the line next on the show. Leading off for the Predators, center fielder, Denard Spann. On the ground to third. Oh, and it sailed right over his head at first. And now, in fact, they'll tag him out at second base, trying to advance on the bad throw. What a break there. Xander. Now at the plate, Xander Bogarts, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Curveball taken outside to begin the at-bat. Ball one. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Saws him off here as his ball's popped into the air. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Rayburn is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. 
Matt Adams gets his first opportunity now in the top of the first with nobody on. Oh, that grounder got him. Recovery throw is not in time, and that'll go down as a painful single. Oh, nice recovery, though. Colby Rasmus set to take his first cuts with a man at first and two away. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting. Oh, hang on now. This ball is smoked to right, and I don't think this one's coming back. No chance. It's gone. Batting fifth. Third baseman. A two-run blast to straightaway right field as it's now a 2-0 ball game. And he gets a hold of this one again to deep right field. Back goes Gonzalez, still ranging back. Oh, and this deflects right off him. He's around second now, and they still haven't gotten to this thing. And the offense continues as he's in the third with a triple. Domingo Santana gets his first shot now, trying to cash in with a runner at third and two gone. Yeah, and all he needs to do here is find a hole anywhere. And a reach to his backhand side at second, but this finds a way by. Notch one in the score column as a runner from third crosses the plate. It's a 3-0 game. Chris Coughlin stands in with another first-inning RBI opportunity in store. Yeah, and this has been an impressive first inning for these guys, and you know they'd love to tack one on here. Low for ball one. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Gonzalez is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Charlie Blackman comes to the plate to lead things off here in the bottom Leading half of the, the first. Rookies, the center fielder number 19, Charlie Blackman. Nope. Too low, 1-0. Counts 1-0. Oh. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that's a base hit. So the leadoff man's aboard to start off the home half of the first. Number 27 steps second. in. He'll get the his first shot man. at it here. First pitch coming. Here it is. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. 0-1. Oh here it comes. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. And a fastball runs in a bit too close for comfort that time. Taken high and deep to right. Santana ranging back, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Nolan Arenado comes forward with two men in scoring position, so he'll look to make this a one-run game with a base hit here. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Nope. One and one. Oh, he wanted that one. Probably should have got it, too. Turned on down the line, but a foul ball, one and two now. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. Runners are at second and third here with only one away. And standing in, the right fielder, Carlos Gonzalez. Oh, and he breaks out the hook here. Good for strike two. And this would be a big time to pick up back-to-back -back strikeouts if you can get it. Right side, hit hard. Oh, look at the dive. Safe. Good effort, though. An outstanding effort that time, but that's a base hit, and the run's in to score. Left fielder. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Rounded down the third baseline. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. So stepping in, D.J. LeMayhew, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Up and in for ball one. And here's a ball hit in the air. Santana on the move, and that retires the side. 
Salvador Perez makes his way to the plate. He'll get us started here in the top of the second. Into the windup and the pitch. First pitch of the Whoa. inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. Salvador Perez is a multiple gold glove winner behind the plate, including in 2015. But he can definitely do some damage with the bat as well. Cole Calhoun will come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. And he had to be looking for something else to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. The 0 2 pitch. Ah, and he just picked him apart in that at bat as he's gone on three pitches, one away. Back to the top of the order now, and standing fourth is the left-handed hitting Denard Span. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Oh, has him looking silly here. It's 0-2. From the belt, kicks and deals. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. And that is swung on and missed by Span as he set down for the second out. Xander Bogarts is at the plate now, flied out in his first at bat. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. And Gonzalez will make the catch, and the inning is over. Tyler Clippard is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Tyler Clippard leading off the inning, Mark Reynolds. And they'll need him to get something going here. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. And they take him out of the zone here, and he obliges. Not the greatest of swings there for the first out. Into the box now, Dustin Garno. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Bases are empty, one man out. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. And a fastball misses here to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Rips this one to first. And this continues right on through him as he couldn't knock it down. Charlie Blackman will stand in. He singled the lead off the home first. Yeah, it was a nice at-bat, good way to start off the game. Probably hopes to carry it through the rest of the at-bats. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Now a swing, and he pops him up. Right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Chris Russon will come in and pitch now. Matt Adams stands in. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. That evens it up one and one. And here's a ball hit in the air. And that's in there. Base hit. Colby Rasmus will try things again. 
He hit that two-run homer his first time. Now a right-hander has started to get loose in the Colorado bullpen. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. Gonzalez Hermen will be the new pitcher. Gonzalez Hermen. Kyle Seeger will be the first one to greet him as he'll start fresh here with the bases empty following the home run. First pitch on its way. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Seeger will make the turn for second. And he's two for two as he's in there with a double. Settling in now, Domingo Santana. He'll try to follow up the double in his last half bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit up in the zone, and he didn't miss it. He'll be looking for it again right here. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Squared that one up just a little late. The set and the 1-1 pitch. Hit back up the middle. Backhanded. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Chris Coughlin digs in now with two already home and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. Well, runs often come in bunches, Matty, and we're going to have to see if that's the case right here. They've got a chance at a big inning. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. It's now 6-2. to two. Justin Miller is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Salvador Perez will be his first assignment out of the bullpen as he'll stand in with the runner in scoring position at second and one away. He slaps that one away, and the count will be nothing and one. Ready with the 0-1. This is in the air out to right field. Gonzalez. Back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. And he's safe. Batting ninth, the pitcher, number 19. Derek Dietrich will be charged with the job of getting that guy home as he'll pinch it with two gone and a runner at third. Now a swing and a fly ball. Rayburn is after it. And this will wind up a foul ball. And this one is off the catcher's glove, and that might be a run. And as it turns out, he won't test it. Ready on one and two. Chopper fouled off to the right. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Hunter Strickland will come in and pitch now. Number 27 steps into the box. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. I think he had to take that one because I'm not even sure he saw it. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's 1-1. One and one. Swung on and missed. 1-2 and two now. That's three straight pitches all over 100 miles an hour. If he throws a changeup for a strike here, that guy's got no chance. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Line toward the gap in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Nolan Arenado gets another crack at it now. He took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit sharply toward the right side. Solid base hit for him his first of the afternoon. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Carlos Gonzalez steps in now. Brad Boxberger will come on now in an awfully tough spot as there are two on here with nobody out. 
Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Pretty cool right there. You know, it's so important in a tough spot to get that first pitch strike over, and he's able to jump ahead. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Ryan Rayburn stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. And now with the double play in order, they'll obviously be looking to induce another ground ball out of him right here. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. And he lays off for ball one. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Good spot for the change there, and that'll knock things up at two and two. Tried to get him with the cutter, but it's a full count, three and two. And now, whatever pitch he feels most comfortable with, that's the pitch he needs to throw right here, because he cannot afford to put this one out of the strike zone. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. DJ LeMayhew comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Here's a swing, and oh boy, this could be trouble. And it is trouble. That should be extra bases. One run is scored. Arenado scores. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate, but not in time. And three runs score. Mark Reynolds comes to the plate looking to put the ball in play. He went down on strikes last time. Yeah, and they fanned him on a fastball last time, so let's see if they come out of it the hard stuff again. Back goes Rasmus, and that ball is gone! Santa Maria, game over! A two-run home run for Mark Reynolds, and none bigger than that one as this ball game is over. The final line score for the ballgame this afternoon for the victorious Rockies. Seven runs.